Hello and welcome to the tour in our NDSS paper, Practical Blind Membership Inference Attack by Differential Comparisons. I'm Bo Hui, and this is a joint work with Yu Chengyang, Hao Lingyuan from the Johns Hopkins University, Philip Berlina from the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, Niu Gong from Duke University, and Ying Ju Cao from Johns Hopkins University. First, I will show the roadmap of our presentation. Let us start from the introduction. Machine learning has achieved human level performance on many areas, such as medical diagnosis, language recognition, self driving car, and social media applications. But it has the vulnerability to privacy related attacks. For example, an adversary can infer whether a specific disease record from a given hospital was used to train a diagnostic system, thus potentially violating patients' protected health information. For another example, the inference of income record for a prediction model may leak users' privacy information. Similarly, the inference of data using the maps and the social media applications may leak users' physic location. There are two major concerns of privacy in machine learning. The first one is model itself, which can be stolen by model extraction attacks. And the second one is data used to train the model. A type of this attack that is the focus of the paper is the membership inference attack, whereby an adversary inference whether a specific sample belongs to the training set of a given learning model or not. Here is a model trained by some data. So how does the attacker achieve the goal? The answer is using a lot of input data to query the target model and observe the output classification ways probability vectors to get the final decision. Let's see what is the idea of state of art at first. As we discussed at the previous slides, we now have target model, attacker with query data. The up and output classification with probability vectors. The idea they propose is to build some local shadow models on their own data sets. Then they will get the output vectors from the training set and also that from the testing set. Remember that the membership is defined as training set of the target model. So they label their uh, training sets output as member and the testing sets output as non-member. Till now, they are able to build a binary classifier as the attack model and predict the membership for the query data. One problem of this method is that they depend on the transferability between the target model and shadow model. That is, attacker's performance is related to the similarity between the distribution of shadows and targets probability vectors. But is there any problem if the shadow model is not similar to the target model? The answer is yes. Let me show you something. We can see that if the adversaries choose the same model as target, the attack F1 score is relatively high even up to 96%. But if they choose a different model, the attack advance score will decrease a lot. So how to deal with this problem? Our thought is to give up the shadow models. And then we come to our design part. Our attack is called blind MI because she doesn't need the information of the target model. 
what we need to do is to modify the target set. For example, using Sobel operator as the transformation, or adding noise, or roughly selecting samples with low probability score. Then we get a data set different from the target set, which we call it non-member data set, because they are unseen data for the target model. Then we query the target model using our non-member data set and get the output vectors. If a sample from the target set are similar with our non-member, then we say it is also non-member. If they are not similar, we think it is a member. By doing this, we avoid using shadow models during our attack. To compute the similarity, we have two variants, plant MI one class trains a one-class model from the selected output probabilities of the non-member and classifies samples in the targeted set using the trained model. Flat MI different adopts differential comparison to classify members and non-members in the targeted set. The high-level idea of the key step in differential comparison is to measure the distance between targeted side and non-member set, and then we recalculate the distance after moving one sample from targeted set to non-member data set. If the distance enlarge, we will consider the moved sample as a non-member. Otherwise, we will consider it as a member. This is an iterative process until convergence. Let me show you some interesting experiments results of blind MI. We use a dataset to evaluate blind MI on different application scenarios. For medical records, we have Apex, CH Minis, and Texas. For personal information, we have Adult, Location, and Purchase 50. We also evaluate the benchmark datasets like Cephal 100 and Bird 200. Remember that our differential comparisons divide non-member and member based on distance changing. We can see that the distance between two sets versus the number of moves per batch increases as shown in figure 7 and figure 8, which means those two sets become fewer, and that is one contains most of non-members and the other one contains most of members. Therefore, our differential comparison is effective on dividing members and non-members. We also evaluate other six state of art attacks. An attack changes a neural network from all features from the output probability distributions of a shadow model. Top 3NN changes a neural network from top 3 features from the output probability distributions of a shadow model. Top 1 threshold compares the top feature from the output probability distribution with a threshold value and classifies the sample as a member if the top feature is larger than the threshold value. Otherwise, it will consider it as a non-member. Loss threshold computes a cross-entropy loss for each sample and classify it as a member if the loss value is smaller than the average loss of training samples in the shadow model. Label only classifies a sample as a member if a predicted class is the same as the ground truth one. Top one plus true is an improved version on top three and then with the consideration of the ground truth label. Here are some results for blend MI comparing with the other membership inference attacks. Note that we have four settings. Blind is our default setting, which means attacker does not know the target model's architecture and the ground truth label of target model. Black box means the attacker knows the ground truth label, but not the model. Grid blind means the attacker knows the target model's architecture but not the ground truth label. And the grid box means the attacker knows the ground truth label and the, the target model's architecture, 
which is the strongest assumption for the adversary. We can see that the performance of state of art based on shadow model is unstable, which depends on the knowledge they know. For example, there are a 28% distance for black box and grid box on location data set. Also 17% for purchase 50 and 38% for bird 200. But our blind MI performs very well among all settings. The reason is that we don't use any shadow models and we aim at target model only. Apart from comparing to the other membership inference attacks, we also evaluate different non-member generation methods and kernel functions for blind MI itself. We found sample transformation is the best, which generates the non-members closer to real test setting, while the Gaussian noise performs better than the other kernels. We also evaluate our attack against state-of-art defenses. Specifically, we have MemGuard on the top left corner, which adds crafted perturbation to the largest layer output of the target model and thus make the target model robust to membership inference attacks. We have differential privacy on the top right corner, which sets a special optimizer so that no single training sample had a significant impact on the target model. We then have maximum mean discrepancy plus mixup on the bottom left corner, which reduces the gap between the softmax distributions of training and the validation set during the training process of the target model. Last but not least, we have adversarial regularization at the bottom right corner, which sets regularizer for the target model and thus provide the robustness against membership inference attacks. From each of the graph, we can observe that in almost all situations, our blind MI attack could successfully maintain a high attack performance in terms of F1 score compared to all the other membership inference attacks. We adjust the non-member to member ratio and measure the F1 score. The underlying rational behind the introduction of ratio is that a practical target data set usually had a small number of members and a large number of non-members. This observation shows the practice of blind MI on the real-world settings. All other attacks in the literature drops at the ratio increase, while the performance decrease of blind MI is stable. That is, the performance of existing membership inference attacks drops below 50% when the ratio is larger than 10, while the performance of blind MI is still above 50%, which is 35% than the state of art, which when ratio equals to 39. In this part, we evaluate the F1 score of blind MI and all other membership inference attacks when the number of classes increases in the target model. The performance of all membership inference attacks, including blind MI, increases at the number of classes in the target model, and the performance boost is more significant when the number of classes is small. The reason is that when the data set has more classes, the target model tends to generalize less thus being more vulnerable to membership inference attacks. Besides, we can see that our blind MI outperforms the other up to 30%. The next part is our conclusion. We designed a membership inference attack called blind MI using a novel technique called differential comparison. Our evaluation shows that blind MI outperforms state-of-art membership inference attacks on the different settings. Also, our implementation is open source at the following link. Thank you for listening.